Who got to who got to pick their side in this? Do you, do you know? Uh, Drexel should be the higher seed. Um, okay, so yeah. it looks like Drexel opted to defer to red side defer, in this yeah. first game. Yeah, game playing to ban. Probably also a rise ban going to come out from Drexel. Yeah, I, I have a feeling we'll pretty consistently not see that game playing. It's just, yeah. Pretty nuts. Uh -huh. uh, the Twitch is a target ban, I know, against yeah. Aj. We've uh, seen that ban in uh, that a lot other times. Drexel's games as well. Oh, well, I'm just an insanely strong champion right now, especially mm -hmm. if we don't have a Trendle set up to counter it. Yeah, I feel like uh, Jungle's been pretty static for, for yeah. quite a while now. Uh, Olaf's a fairly recent pick, uh, mm. pick up, not, not yeah, too much, about half the season, yeah, but, but the Zac and the Sejuani we've been seeing. Zac, Sejuani, Trundle, Olaf yeah. is pretty much like the big four champions that everybody picks on these. At least it gets some quality uh, of life it's... in 8.7, so... At least in the uh, pro meta, it's been like Olaf, Skarner with Trundle to yeah, get and Zach and Sejuani mm -hmm. as the options after that. So, is Warwick also banned out? Pretty. Yeah, I'm just saying Warwick man. Mm -hmm. you champion. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, that could potentially be a target ban. I don't know. Uh, Huang Fu seems to have quite a variety of champions. Though. Yeah. We saw him pick the uh, yeah the Vi earlier in the mm -hmm. season. Yeah, he doesn't. Play the, those those yeah he's the, typically the square for stuff so they English. actually do end up letting the rise go through mm -hmm. bt's gonna go ahead and first pick that yeah yeah it's a pretty easy blind pick as well especially if you're as comfortable with the champion as uh, this flag is mm -hmm. i'm expecting to see some sort of like uh just anytime i see rise pick i see um normally sustained damage to match um so i expect like a cassiopeia or azir in the mid lane but heist is also a high priority pick and uh drexel's gonna grab that up straight away and just to kind of like seeing Huang Fu's personality some in these games, I feel like he could possibly be having that in the jungle. Mm -hmm. Jungle Kaisa. Yeah. It's been it. seeing a little bit of play. I'm not uh, too familiar with it. I think I've only seen it in one game myself, and that was uh, Gold Gold Five Solo Q. So mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. No, it's it's possible to be played in pretty much every lane right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. I think I it's the, definitely the best in ADC and then the, then the jungle. Yeah, I do. I do love some Kaisa ADC. Gana mm. also picked away pretty high tier support nowadays. Um, mm -hmm. Black Shield really counters a lot of the harder engaged things, and then it bullies a lot of the uh, things that yeah can't engage as hard. Yeah, Black Shield is also a big enabler for carries that just want to run in and get in close, like Kaisa. So mm -hmm. um, I'm expecting to see uh, if they're gonna put the no matter where they put the Kaisa, I'm expecting to see some champs to be picked around it. And we're gonna see Jin. Um, the Jin, mm -hmm. uh, strong champion right now. Just yeah, I mean, pretty standard. Very, stuff. very, very, very standard pick right yeah. now. Among the top ADCs, you know, I have Caitlyn, Jin, uh, yeah. Kaisa's up there. Um, and if Gwyn sees is available on Jin as well, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's very strong. Yeah, I have the thousand AD Jin. So woo. Yeah, I don't know if you guys were aware, but uh, in. LCK playoffs and the uh, ULOL playoffs, mm -hmm. Gwinsu's has been like a banned item on Jin, like administratively banned by Riot. Really? So, really? so, so yeah. in those in those games that happened this morning, it was banned. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm not I'm not sure if it's got fixed or not, but uh, pretty sure it was uh done that way. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Well, then I would think you would be expecting to see some pretty hard nerfs coming to that mm -hmm. item soon. Then, if they're yeah, banning it's, it's it. kind of a weird <laughs> yeah. situation because like the math works out correctly. Yeah, but it's like it's you're not you don't want the math to work out. That the way. math checks out, <laughs> but like it's too good. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, a Lulu ban. That's interesting. Um, I personally don't think that Lulu is that great of a pick in lane for Jin. Um, but I'm not an expert on what Virginia Tech's champion pools are. Skylar, could you fill us in? Uh, champion pools for Virginia Tech. Uh, Rev plays uh, Rev a lot. Uh, plays a lot of things. Same with the uh, active. Mm -hmm. Not sure exactly. Um, I work more with the A team. Okay. The A team yeah. quotes, so I, I don't know everybody on the B team perfectly. Okay. Interesting to see zillion bands too. A zillion band. Wow. Mm -hmm. That. I'm assuming that has to be target, right? I haven't. Yeah. I feel yeah, like I haven't at, seen. At active. Um, active yeah. plays a lot of stuff. He, okay. Like even okay. you could see that Vagar pick. Mm -hmm. I could see that being a takeaway from Active Nihilism because he plays everything okay. in support. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. 
A little bit of untraditional picks there. Let's yeah. see what uh, BT's last man. Yeah, hey, no. I'm a. Uh... It's kind of surprised that is the fact that Virginia Tech saved their jungle pick for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, same with uh, Drexel, because it seems like jungle picks have been pretty consistently done in the first phase for yeah. pretty much the entire last four months. So, yeah. not normal. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I think it's a fact more of, like, these junglers don't want to play the boring tanks that you see in competitive yeah, play. want to so... play... They want they want to play some you know some big damage carry and uh, they're trying to see what the other person wants to pick first and so grabbing something. But then I say that, that Sedrawani, yeah, there we go. Okay, I, I was I was literally just about to say interesting that we see that Sedrawani kind of slipping through to this late, but as I say, it, yeah. there it is. But at this point, you have so many target bands layered on, layered on top of this that like you're gonna end up with one of the you know mm -hmm. two of the four right. strong junglers. I think uh, probably what was happening there is that Virginia Tech potentially wanted to pick something like Skarner, but we wanted to wait to make sure there was no like Trundle counter pick mm -hmm. uh, coming out, potentially. Um, decided that, okay, we have to blind pick, because is probably the safest blind pick we yeah. can do. And then a Gee, Karma. Karma. Okay. That's not something I've Nothing. actually seen more in mid lane nowadays than mm -hmm. in support, because I think they've shifted a lot of her power into AP scalings. Um, and obviously support karma is not going to get that much AP, so uh, I don't think she serves her purpose as well in the support role as she used to. Um, so there's that, and then like Akasics the locking Kha'Zix. too. Hmm. Yeah. The big thing about karma and support is uh, she's still a lane boy. It's just yeah. hard to scale up after that, mm -hmm. uh, potentially. Yeah. I think there's a lot more effectiveness in, you know, Karma with a lot of AP and just being able to throw a big, you know, 500 point shield onto somebody. Right. Yeah. Obviously, um, they're looking for that early pressure, taking the, both supports taking the Ignite, so. That's just standard. It's yeah. fair nowadays. Yeah. Vagar will be a bit of an interesting pick to uh, see played around. It can really mm -hmm. shut down a lot of engages with the box. Placing. Yeah. The box is just such a wide diameter. You put it down in a choke and you're just not going to yeah. engage. Yeah, Advent Horizon, yeah. Drexel, Drexel having quite a late game focused team, I would say. With the, with the Cho and the Kaisa and the Vagar, all three. So if it gets to be pretty late, I, I would imagine... Yeah. Uh, VT could str possibly struggle a bit against that Drexel late game, but I, I, I'm not... Super familiar with the yeah. Jinsu's power right now. Oh yeah, it's it gets pretty disgusting. I, I would imagine it gets pretty disgusting. So I think this is going to be a pretty a pretty yeah. bot lane focused I, matchup, honestly. Yeah, I'm not like super familiar with the numbers, but like I was reading Reddit the other day, like oh yeah, three thousand AD on Jinsu's uh, can get kind of. Uh, I think that's like a hyper optimized. Yeah, like, but like dream yeah, scenario. Build. But, but think, like yeah. Still, you could see in the 1500s. Yeah, mm -hmm. 1500s is pretty standard. I would imagine just from all the uh, the hoopla around it that it's pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah. gonna wave through the specter delay here and then uh, hop right the in. Thing is gonna be the uh, just looking at you know Kaisa can get onto the back line, Kaz can get on the back line, Chogath can just run at the back line. It'll be hard for Jin to stay mm -hmm. safe through all of that. Mm -hmm. Um, always when you're setting up as like a Purge and Ultimate, you gotta watch out. Maybe there's a Kha'Zix just coming around the bush uh, behind you. Yeah, I look at the two team comps in this game, and I think that um, that Drexel's comp is a little more Feast or Famine. I think that if they get ahead, they can snowball with that composition really hard. Um, and But if they get behind, they're gonna fall behind really hard, and it's gonna be difficult for them to come back. But I think Virginia Tech's comp is more of a straight line of you know they you know don't have any you know they're strong all around mm -hmm. VT, yeah. vt's team comp looking uh, also a lot of a lot of magic damage focus obviously letting that gen handle almost all of the ad and so but hey late game black shields 1500 ad is a whole team no, with ad I, yeah i mean it certainly is but uh those late game black shields could be denying a lot of damage and you, you black shield the kaisa and if she lands the uh the W on a Jin that's mm -hmm. even a little bit out of position, you could definitely see Kha'Zix Kaisa just jump in and, and nuke yeah. the Jin. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like a Jin Tech's going to be it's kind of just stacked up on top of each other for a lot of this mm -hmm. game. Playing against probably the more mobile, uh, more loose Drexel team comp. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely got to watch out when you're split pushing. 
for Kaiser or Kha'Zix to come in, assassinate you. Alright. Hey, apparently I'm quiet on stream. Do you guys mind turning up my Still. Discord volume? Uh, I turned it all the way it's up like, size. It'll go. We've okay. got it. We've got everything maxed. I have everything so maxed. If you could yeah, okay. do anything on your end, yeah. I'll see what I can do. Because you're like blasting in our ears. I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it's good now. Ryan says. Yeah, so Ryan. Ryan said. Fine. Ryan said we're good. Okay. okay. All right. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything's taken care of. Five seconds in. I did my pray, best. Pray to the gods that uh, we actually just get into the game. Mm -hmm. Always, when you're on a new setup, I worry yeah. about uh, actually loading into games just from personal experience. But here we go. Looks like everything's so going all right. Drum roll. All systems are normal. Hold on that loading screen for a bit. I hope. I pray. It worked earlier. There, there it is. There we go. Okay. Heart rate heart rate lowered. Everything's fine. <laughs> Professional Brief. casters, by the way. Yep. Yeah, I always have to be quiet when I'm loading into the game or when the game just starts up. Apparently I turn super robotic every time. Oh really? Just for League of Legends games opening up. I'm not sure why. Get out of here. I feel like there's a lot of scenarios where it's like just for League of Legends games because I, I run into that as well. Spaghetti code hard at work. Oh yeah, dude. Hop in, get that short game delay that always happens while we wait for everything to load yeah, in. Everything will be fine. Here we go in the first game of finals. All right, game one, two, getting game. started. I do want to note we have will Virginia uh, Tech defend their title, or will uh, Drexel manage to steal it? We do have that minion dematerializer on only Rise mm. coming out, so okay. Yeah. I do like to see at least one on each team. Uh, I feel I feel like it for potentially banner it, it, shenanigans it, later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, well, a lot of times we don't even see them hold it for that long. And with the uh, yeah. priority on cannon, looks like uh, Drexel's sure. going to look for a little bit of a roam inside here. Yeah. And Vega got spotted out by the mid lane rise. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, first Dark Binding's going to land on the Jin, but he's just going to back up, place a couple wards, and looks like Drexel's just going to back up and. Go to our normal setup, but we do see uh, mm -hmm. VT getting set up at the uh, Drexel's Red, so it could be a little bit of a skirmish there when Shogath walks up. Let's see. Uh, no, it looks like he's gonna be fine. Gonna ward him back up. Game pros. Ooh, Orange is chilling. Oh, okay, just walk out. Mm -hmm. Liar's pretty weak level one, to be honest. So yeah, but Drexel's level gonna, one without uh, the greatest level one here. Without yeah. Dark Binding is not very strong, but. Yeah. Looks like my guy's gonna take a little bit of poke, but it's gonna gonna toss it right back. So yeah. pretty even trade. Nothing nothing crazy. Yeah. So each okay. Yeah. What's your what's your timer? Nine fifty one two three okay. four. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're live. And it looks like it's going well. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Sorry for those technical difficulties. Uh, just switched off. Which computer's getting streamed on? But we should be good to go now. Um, not sure if you guys saw it uh, early on. Mostly a stalemate, few close calls for Drexel. Ends up being a 3 for 2 fight in their favor. Red Waddle got a double kill though. Here we go, into another fight. Bishan takes a kill onto Chow. Yeah, VT's bot lane opening up onto Chow there. He's gonna fall, and Kaisa's just gonna do a little bit of trade back damage. So, uh, Chow just a little bit far up. That gank comes out, catches him off guard, and the Jin ult's gonna open up and finish him off, so. Even in kills now, VT up uh, 400 gold. Nothing too much to worry about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, definitely uh, good for VT, though. I think they may have been a little bit scared after uh, their last match against Drexel, where they didn't really perform well at all. Um, mm -hmm. To come into this game and have a pretty good early game, winning a lot of skirmishes or coming close in a lot of skirmishes, uh, mm -hmm. whereas last game I was kind actually... of a eats quite a few turret shots there, and it will open up Sejuani to roam in, but it will get spotted out, and Mage will just yeah, back up. Kha'Zix is here for the counter. Ooh, they're gonna jump in under tower, and oh, he's just gonna nuke the swag completely. Okay, Did not like have I'm flash. A little off me, guys. You guys are like 11, 22, 23, 24. Uh, pause, pause for like one second. Alright. Should be better now. Okay. Yeah, I think you might have been one second ahead of us or something. 
So again, for the technical difficulties, sometimes when you're streaming from two different places, things get pretty wacky. Yeah. And uh, having to get up a new setup, because uh, one of our apartments has no internet, so... Unfortunate. Yeah. One nice thing about living on campus uh, is, of course, the great internet. Always fantastic. Yeah. Amazing internet, by the way. <laughs> Like nine gigabyte download speed, like what? <laughs> yeah. Not working for two days straight. Yeah, yeah. two days straight on campus, uh, two weeks before finals. Yeah. Always great. Yeah, that's a good time. Do homework? Oh, no. Nope. Internet's out, boys. <clears throat> okay. So, nothing too crazy happening right now. Just uh, some standard lanes going up. Everybody just CSing. Ozix is going to come over, and looks like he might just take the blue for himself. Mm -hmm. Greedy boy. Any mids don't give blue, or any junglers <laughs> don't give blue. Oh, yeah. That's only a Korean thing. <laughs> in Korea, the mid they won't quit if you do. If you don't, mm -hmm. the jungler takes it. Apparently. Yep, that's what I've heard. Much to the uh, chagrin of some Master Yi mains. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's oh, just Chow is actually going to completely fall down. But now Kha'Zix is just going to burst down. Revelator actually gets Sejuani ulted and has to back up. He does get rooted and looks like they're going to finish him off. Jin's going to actually... Karma takes him down. Looks like Kaisa is going to flash away and, and run away. Scared. Mm. Yeah, yep. that's... Uh, bot lane power play is in play for Virginia Tech right now. Um, Karma is so strong early and, I mean, she got three kills in her and then... Yeah, Virginia Tech's bot lane is just really head right now, and yeah. they're gonna pick up the power. Essence up Weaver comes out. Essence Weaver finished first for uh, Jin. Oh. oh, and it looks like Huang Fu has actually DC'd. Hopefully, they didn't have any ramifications on that play right there, but. Didn't look like anything. Coming out. Yeah, he looked weird. like yeah. he was pretty much doing what he wanted, so I. Yeah. Hopefully, that happened post mortem. Mm -hmm. It looks like everybody's having some technical difficulties tonight. We feel a little bit better. Yeah. It's yeah. not just us. Sorry, laptop. <laughs> Some of the unlucky Friday the 13th stuff came in on Saturday the 14th. Oh, just yeah. Just the... kind of bleeding over a day. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the universe just kind of was late a day. Didn't get it the memo. It's like, oh, wait, my bad. We got you. Wrong day, though. We did did yeah. see him reconnect, so hopefully is everything yeah, all right. There we are. We're good. Oh, we're, getting, we're getting the readies out in the chat. Resuming play. Mm -hmm. Back into the action. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we were talking about the Essence Reaver on Jin there, um, which I'm pretty sure is like the super, um, the Jin Su's build. Um, mm -hmm. Like a post from the, the previous standard of, you know, a couple penetration items and a crit, you know, the Ghost Blade, I think. Oh, uh, um, Orn taking a bit of damage here from Shoga. Yeah, he, is, uh, he is pretty far forward. He actually whipped his E earlier a little deep. It's just tanks fighting. Yeah, it does take a big yeah. chunk, but he's still got some potions, and he's got he's got two biscuits, yeah. so he's fine. But he's going to opt to back. Looks like they're going to go ahead and lane swap. We do see the VT bot lane mm -hmm. coming up. They did get that tower first tower in the bot lane. So. Yeah. Yeah. The just the the name of the game right now is as soon as your bot lane takes the bot lane tower, just swap them top. Throw mm -hmm. your uh, hook soul laner, top laner down into. Bot lane and just you know push down another tower with your advantage. This is what they're trying to do. Um, and it looks like Drexel is really really slow on this um, rotation to match. The bot lane is still sitting around bottom and they're gonna lose Rift Trail off. Like, yeah. Good uh, heads up play from Virginia Tech. Staying mm -hmm. ahead of the meta, or sorry, ahead of the rotations. <clears throat> looks like they are gonna go ahead and secure that Herald. Kazakh's kind of dancing around, but Drexel just too slow on the rotation. Yeah. And not really a great option for them to trade objective Cloud Drake down there, and so... Yeah, Drexel actually had uh, a lot of people hovering around, just nobody pulled the trigger there. Mm -hmm. A little unfortunate. Would have possibly liked to see them just uh, slide down, maybe pick up the dragon, but... As as it is a Cloud Drake, not the best option, and they do want to be a top lane push. I think they should still have taken it anyway. Like, there's no been no Drake take 15 minutes into the game. Um, and, I mean, in order to generate some sort of potential win condition off that, like, just go ahead and take the Cloud Drake to get out of the way and hope for a better Drake that comes along later. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't want some 
you know, professional scene game where the Elder Drake is in Spawn Oh, here time. comes a fight coming in. Ooh, Spawn is gonna go ahead and jump in. Dark Binding is going to land on Jin. Uh, big knockup comes out for Chikaf. Looks like he could possibly just eat the Jin. He does. So Jin is gone. Kara has to flash away, and now Sejuani is just kind of up there by himself. Teleport does come in from Rise. Big damage, though. Knockup gonna land on a Cho'Gath. Gonna flash forward, looking for the Morgana. Just gotta clean up the Cho'Gath. Morgana looks like she will get away. Oh, oh she in. gets rooted at the last second. Viger here possibly looking to blow up. Uh, Rise yes. does away. Warren <laughs> ult does completely this. And Kazus going back in on a Karma. Karma does not have that flash. But now Kazus a little bit far forward. He does get knocked up by the Orn. It's just gonna get completely obliterated. Just uh, kind of unaware of his position there. Oh, man. Very insane fight here. Rise does end up falling to Mage. Yeah, Mage's in a bit of trouble gonna, though. Yeah, Orn is gonna run him down. He will land the knockup. Sejuani is here. He does still have So he does put down the box and just limp away, licking his wounds. And uh, big play there for VT, almost flawless. Rise does end up falling there towards the end, but actually, and they did lose Jin at the beginning, excuse yeah. me, so. Yeah. Yeah, that fight looked okay for Drexel until the double TPs came in, mm -hmm. um, and then they just got ran over. Because... They kind of just uh, ignored the fact that yeah. those TPs were coming, just still staying yeah. far forward, and uh, Huang Fu, Staying a little bit far up under that tower, just kind of uh, not respecting the, the CC from Orn. Yeah, that's the other downside of not swapping your bot lane fast enough, is that Kaisa was down sitting in the bot lane, um, and somebody TP'd up there, and then Kaisa had to back, mm -hmm. walk from base to get into the fight near the end. Yep. Um, so, implications of rotations uh, right. is what... So there's something I want to talk about that's coming out. So, Ryze's items right now. He has a Aether mm -hmm. Wisp and a Ruby Crystal. He's going to build mm -hmm. that into Australia's Reverie. Um, okay. So he's been, this is something I've seen him do a few times and he's told me about it. And basically, uh, the amount of movement speed you get out of it is just insane for chasing people down. And like, you just cannot die in team fights with just how much movement speed you have. And nobody can get away either because Ryze already has his movement speed yeah. off of his uh, passive right, right, right. or whatever. It's really insane. And you don't even miss out on the damage that much from only having 40 AP on the item uh, because the Arcane does give you so much AP. Hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Interesting. I was not fully aware of that. Uh, looks like looks like VT is going to opt to take the dragon here, but huh? So looks like we're going to have a super fast rise in our hands. Super fast rise. Now he needs to build the speed orb. Speed, speed orb. I I haven't seen anybody build that item like on anything. That's not that's not oh, that's, the speed, uh, that's not speed orb. No, no, no. The Oblivion orb. Oh. You know, you think it builds into the speed orb, but no. No. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Um. But yeah, I haven't seen. Okay, the Spellbinder. Okay, is that, okay that's yeah. the Speed Orb. Um, I haven't seen that built on pretty much anything. Um, I see it when people are winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like it's just like, oh, let me buy this item because I'm winning. Uh, that's pretty much it. BT's uh, gonna knock on the door of uh, Drexel, gonna take their mid tower. Sejuani L does miss, and Orange. His ultimate because of the box. And they're just gonna back up. Feeling a little bad that they couldn't hit any of their CC there, but. Orn, Orn does a brief forward moving animation to knock back his ult, and he pushed himself into the event horizon mm -hmm. and uh, wasn't able to recast his ult. Yeah, I actually didn't know that uh, if he didn't fully complete the charge or whatever, it didn't knock the yeah. back. Yeah, it actually feels horrible. Ooh, Swag's in danger. Oh, the Dark Mining does land onto the Swag. He does get nuked by Kaz and Kaisa. Teleport is coming in from down to Flash. And uh, Drexel getting a little bit of a little bit of a swing here. Hopefully they can make something half of it yeah. off of it. Yeah, Karma's strong in lane, but here's the power that Morgana offers later in the game. Um, like Insane off of binding, pick. boom. Like yeah. free initiation for the Kaisa to follow up on, stack a black shield on top oh. of that, and then Kaisa awesome. Oh, Arj is actually gonna go way far up and now Jin is gonna open up and uh hopefully make an opening for his team. The Phantom Brick is walking in, but the Oh, Event Horizon does come down, but Mage very low, he's actually gonna nuke the oh, brick. Bonkers in the back. Oh, Wonku is in the back onto the Jin. The Jin flashes here the kill and does end oh. up. Oh, the Dark Binding snipes him at the last minute. A great Dark Binding from Chow. And now Bishan is nice up there kill. kind of alone. And he's going to escape, but the swag is in from the back. Maui is going to almost fall to him. He does fall. The swag hopefully going to try and clean this oh, up. But Wonku is still alive. He does get the double. Wonku takes oh, a tower shot and he flashes in. The triple's coming in. The teleport's coming in for Rise. Down to Flash. He's on the wrong side of the map. But they are going to opt to just let him go. They kill him. I think they don't know he's there. Looks like they're not really sure <laughs> the direction he took. He could get this channel off. He actually does not. So down to flash. Active's in danger here. Well, he actually could just kill uh, Active Nihilism straight up. He doesn't have his ultimate, but 
He's got his E, and that could just be enough. Rise is coming up. He does oh, heal from his w. mantra. And now Rise is here, so it looks like Down a Flash will end up falling. Super delayed quadra kill for the swag. I hope. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. That was a solid two minute big fighting. scrappy fights, but that's what we like to see. Oh, yeah. Now you see uh, in the back of that fight, uh, Rise teleports back in after dying and mm -hmm. uses his Shirelias, gets in there. Yeah. He did. He did. Zooming on in, Mage. Teleports behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. Yep. <laughs> wow. Where'd he come from? He's a blur. I can see him. He's moving so fast. It's the fastest man alive. <laughs> right. Day job. Need to have a. He did teleport back, and he was in the same place as he was before. Oh <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, man. Ooh. Wow. Exciting. Exciting team fight. I'm pretty I love sure. Those. those are my favorite. I'm pretty sure there were. Ten deaths. Total. No, it's like another team fight where it just looks so great for. Uh... Yeah. Drexel was starting it off, and then Virginia Tech somehow mm -hmm. rise toe puts in, and he just wins. Yeah, the they do. Forward. They do bring it back, and they just overcommit a little bit, and mm -hmm. using all their movement skills to go forward, and then all of a sudden, and then mm -hmm. suddenly we haven't mentioned it all game, but now they're at a 5k gold lead off of that, off yeah. of just so many kills, and you know, actually having towers taken. You know? Yeah. The thing is, every time you you feel like those fights are super even, but VT comes out just enough to where they can pick up those towers, and now we do start to see that gold lead. Getting possibly a little bit out of hand. We will see, uh, I believe, Infernal is the next race, if I'm not mistaken. It is Infernal. It is Infernal. Okay. So. Should be I expect... Um, that's a big, just, like, one of the nails to add to the coffin for Virginia Tech, really. If they manage to pull off uh, Infernal Drake off that, that would oh, yeah, be a big... Jin Su's with Infernal. Oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. Get me those that big AD numbers. Inbound. We're getting off the close to that fully Monka optimized, S. fully optimized uh, <laughs> Jin 1500 or three three billion AD build. Oh yeah. Can uh, someone make that a Night Blue three YouTube video? How much AD can I get on Jin? <laughs> Un unfortunately for Drexel, I'm Oz has just not really been oh. super present. Actually, it looks like Chow will be forced to flash away. Shirelius. Jin W does land. Shirelius, boys. Wow. So much pressure, but Phantom break out a little bit by himself. Kwang Fu and down to Flash going to be looking to pick this up, but I think he could get away. Uh, Chogath is pretty far, but mm, yeah. his team's kind of ignoring him, but now Rise does turn, and Kwang Fu and down to Flash forced to turn away. I don't have much. Like, the, the Kha'Zix build now is Evolve R before anything else. What does he else have? You, what else does he have Evolve? Okay, he did Evolve too. It just doesn't do that much damage to a fuck the full, you know, orange. Yeah. yeah, he does have that Frozen Heart. I was like, uh, where's the Evolve Q damage? Oh, <laughs> it just uh, doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't exist. Yeah. I think uh, Evolve Q actually doesn't do more damage. I think Evolve Q just reduces the cooldown when you hit it on Isolated Target now and increases the range. I'm pretty sure it's the same amount of damage uh, between Evolve Q and non-Evolve Q. It's just the uh, cooldown that makes it a lot nicer. I could be wrong about that. They changed that a while ago, and there's something confusing about it. one thing. It's either the isolation or the... Uh... I think the isolation is up and the cooldown, but the, the actual single target when they're with people is not changed. Okay, maybe that's what it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Pretty Looks sure like we're going to have a scrap around Dragon. Uh, VT is going to go ahead and secure it. Down to Flash is kind of just up by himself, but nobody's looking to... Uh, active Nihilism does just kind of run up to Imaj. Imaj could start popping off in this fight. You see two kills come out, and the uh, big rise is gone. Phantom Brick by himself, so actually a disastrous fight here for VT. Phantom Brick will fall here. It's a three for zero, actually. They wow, do four. get the Drake. Four yeah. zero. Four, excuse me. They got that... They Okay, this time... This, this rarely happens in any high-level competitive play, but Drexel splits the fight in half and it actually works out really well for them because Virginia Tech doesn't commit to one side or the other. They sort of like chase down the middle into the enemy jungle and then Mage and Huang Fu appear on one side and then Kais is free to like reposition into the other half of the team, so... Yeah. Drexel will start this fair up, but uh, we do see Bishan here and it looks like Down to Flash is going to try and zone him away. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a 50-50 uh, situation. They do have vision here. This one uh, teleports for both Orn and Durai that they want to get. Like oh, he has a 50 steal! 50. Oh, oh, he gets God. the steal! He does flash the master. That's what I like to see. 
it's still a one for one after all that because Jin does secure a kill. So they get the Baron Bishan coming in clutch, throwing up the mastery. Mm -hmm. oh, you just saw him flash in to get that steal, and he just stood there. He's like, I'm done. Hands in the air. Yeah, my I don't work need my hands on the keyboard been anymore. Completed. <laughs> I love all this Bichon. I can't tell. Uh, Bichon, big boy. Mm -hmm. Is he a level up on Huang Fu? Because... I believe he was. Okay. At that point, uh, I'm yeah. almost certain. I think they were. Oh, they could have both been 13. Yeah, they didn't guard against the 50 50 steal. Um, that's Morgana's job to take care of that and just find Bichon before he can get into the pit whatsoever. Um, but nobody was looking out for it. And off the back of a good team fight execution, they mess up the Baron. <sighs> Yeah, so now we do see the Baron on to VT. They have two Drakes, so <laughs> Drexel just uh, just takes an inch, but uh, gives VT a mile. Yep. Gwyn Su's completed yeah. on Jin, so got the Gwyn Jin oh, Su's finished. Edge. Here we go. What are we going to see now? How much AD does he have? Right now, 600. He's, he's approaching good. 600 with it stacked. So, uh, but that doesn't matter. It looks like Phantom Bricks may caught down on the bottom side. As Magai and Huang Fu are slowly just gonna beat him to death. Chow is here, but he does nothing. Magai's gonna go ahead and pick that up. Killing spree, so. <clears throat> Could be getting something rolling here. Big That's... scary late game Viger. Yeah. Big thing there was be uh, Phantom Brick was pushing up too hard without much pressure from the rest of his team on the map. Yeah. So the rest of uh, Drexel was just able to go out, pick him off real quick. Well, BT doesn't get much out of the uh, split focus. And that's that's not the first time we've seen him be uh, up a little bit far there. So needs to needs to lock that down before it starts becoming a major issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is an issue where you know they just lost a Baron buff, um, and they're losing a lot of time where they could be pressuring off the Baron as well. So that's actually a pretty yeah. big. Uh, you know, you yeah. don't have that split push Baron threat. I mean, you still have it on Rise, but you don't have it on Orn anymore. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and not having your tank or your well, one of your tanks really. Yeah, they, they, they look the one through one there, but Phantom Break gets caught out, and uh, that throws away two-thirds of the Baron's buff duration right now. So, um, looks like we're back to giving uh, advantages up back and forth again. Oh, uh, uh, Monsu just kind of gets spotted out by the sweeper. He will, <laughs> he will hop over Doesn't unassailed, matter. so gets away. It's a little annoying. Uh, you can't actually spot him out with even control wards. The sweeper shows you the red outline, but he's right, targeted yeah. for that. Period of time. Gotta Makes throw it that cold. huge. Wow. You really just want to go through these words. I think that's the fifth pink word we've seen <laughs> placed in this book. Battle. Nobody has. Okay. Well, VT has more pink words on the. Uh, oh, yeah. there, but, so Dude, that, can fight. that's like. Oh, man. I love how many pink words VT has right now. Mm hmm. Or red wards, technically. Everybody right. contributing. Oh, he shot actually does get caught up on the event horizon. All five are here. Below. Oh, he does actually get cleaned up at the last second. Teleport was coming in from uh, Phantom Break, and it did get canceled, I believe. Hmm. He's yeah. gonna look for more pressure on the bot side, but... Another case where somebody's just playing a bit aggressively with the team not around to back him up. Yeah. And these uh, small mistakes are starting to add up. If uh, if Bichon hadn't stolen that Baron, this actually was pretty in the favor of Drexel. As but once again, happen again, yeah, Brick is just kind of walking up to, to a bunch of people, not really sure where anybody is, and looks like he's going to get eaten away by the Kai'Sa. Actually, Huang Fu does pick up the kill, so... And now, all of a sudden, it's only a 2k game, and uh, as soon as Drexel knocks down some towers, Baron, that's an even game. Baron power play, minus 3,000 gold. Um, uh, pretty, pretty bad execution there from uh, the side of Virginia Tech, just getting it caught out three successive times. Uh, Huang Fu doesn't care, he's just gonna back him. That is an interesting place to be, my friend. Yeah. <clears throat> Feels a little bad. <laughs> mm, yeah. Baron power play. I can't, I could, I, if I was streaming, I'd put a... <laughs> visual on the screen for Visual that on the screen, but uh, not... Feels bad. Uh... So yeah, v VT was... I... At four minutes ago, it felt like they were miles ahead, and now yeah. it's... I venture to say a pretty even game. Really, all Drexel needs to do is find a way to knock down a couple towers, and we've got a dead even game. This next uh, dragon is Ocean, it looks like. So, I think we just need an excuse to fight it right now. I don't know if Ocean Drake's going to be enough to provide it, but I think in this point of the game, we're just engaged in the game of throws, okay? Mm -hmm. We win fights, we go to Barons, we get the Baron stolen away. We have the Baron. 
then we get caught out and nothing happens. But Confu does start up the dragon. It's at half. Looks like Virginia Tech's not gonna do it. They're gonna push mid. Gonna, just gonna, yeah, let the Ocean Drake go through and uh, Down to Flash is is here in the mid lane. A little bit cut off from his team. Dark Binding does land on Bishan. Phantom Break gonna take damage. Jugath up here a little bit by himself can eat a good bit of damage. Arnold does come in, does land on a Mage, but nobody there to fight. Chunk up. Heal up. And uh, just kind of go back to neutral game you a little bit. Redemption. Bishan okay. does have the Warmog, so he will get back to full HP. No such luck for Phantom Brick, but he will slowly regen up. And the Ocean Drake does go to Drexel. Yeah, I'd say credit to Wang Fu there for playing the distraction game on the backside of that fight because uh, Virginia Tech had a really good track up onto the secondary mid lane tower, but um, Wang Fu just appeared behind them and uh, scared them off of it. Yeah. Um, and then escaped out from under their noses. Yeah, Virginia so. Tech looks like they wanted to go for the push on the mid lane instead of fighting for Dragon, but they made the call so late. Dragon was already at like a quarter of HP. Oh, 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 Dark Brandy's gonna land on this. He's gonna get nuked by. Mage's Viger, and that event horizon just really enables some quick sieging. So, and just like that, the towers are almost even up, and the gold is dead even. And uh, we were kind of we, we've kind of been forgetting about Imaj in this uh, in this game now, but now he's three one and seven, and very scary. Mm -hmm. So yeah. much attack speed gonna start coming out. He's, he's just gonna keep saying we're we're in a an AD versus attack speed war mm -hmm. um, right now between the AD carries. Um, and these these Morgana bindings combined with Event Horizon are creating a lot of opportunities for Drexel to really uh, come back in this game. Yeah, because they're up two hundred gold now. We made remade the whole gold lead back. Woo! Baron's up though. So Baron's up, and we're gonna see uh, something interesting happen. I'm sure. Down Flash is going down to that bot lane, but he does have his teleport. There are some deep wards for Drexel, so could be looking for a pretty good flank. The swag is going to be walking back from base. Tech has total vision control right now. Yeah. Watch the flash out. Flash from Mage does come out. The Black Shield goes on to Mage, but in that for he gets healed and actually will sneak away. But a lot of pressure going to be lost around this Baron, and now Mage is up a little bit far. Going to get nuked by Jin. Oh, it's Choga's a... in the back. Oh my God! Wait, Choga. Where did you come from? What are you doing? Oh my god, it's a disaster. Great vision play there from Virginia Tech. Yeah, that was, that was very, very strong. Abusing that that uh, dangerous river, and looks like uh, Huang Fu's gonna look to replicate Bishan, but I don't think he's gonna quite get it. Mm -hmm. And actually, he's just gonna suicide for it completely and utterly. Yeah. Feels bad. Um, I was just about to say, make a remark about before that whole thing started about how Drexel needs to have more pink words in inventory, and uh, that's the reason why they pretty take takes complete vision control of the Baron and the surrounding river and just starts a team fight off that. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a couple of micro misplays in there from Drexel too, but hey, uh, something similar is bound to happen in, in in any case. Oh yeah, you'll see some very quick siege coming down. Jin will knock, knock, knock on those turrets. Rise as well. Can't forget about that AP turret damage, and they will go ahead and get the tier three going to be knock on. And Mage is finally back up, so they will get the anti and just back up. Karma Shield makes everybody run away. They do still have Shirelia, so they're just fine walking away. Looks like they're going to not opt to go for the bot lane, and they're all just going to back and buy, run it back. All right. Yep. So. Virginia Tech needs to learn the lesson from what happened the last time they got the Baron, um, and not uh, execute their three uh, one three one in the proper fashion um, yeah. this time around. Uh, think, they're probably uh, gonna. It's actually probably we talked about it at the beginning of the game how Draxel has a much more I don't know versatile comp. They can play a lot looser. Mm -hmm. I think the better play is just the four one right now. You already have the inhib down in mid. You don't need a person there. Minions are going pushed by, yeah. by themselves. Yeah, exactly. Um, Rise also switched out his teleport to a ghost from his uh, unto spell book. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so, so they're gonna like go for four one. Four one for this. Um, and yeah, so Orin's. I don't know who's gonna match the Orin because it looks like Chogas staying where he is right now. And I feel like he'd be the best candidate to do that. No teleport um, up for him though. Gonna make it. Okay. Yeah. A bit difficult for him to so, answer in case. Uh, he's. I mean, I yeah, so that leaves Orn free to just uh, walk down top and could be hoping to open up on a on a four v five, but mm -hmm. VT wisely is kind of playing it a bit safe and just letting Orn uh, knock down that tower all by himself. 
and it uh, looks like Drexel's just going to kind of opt to give it up for free. We do see start Cho'Gath starting to walk up there now, but they will lose this outer. I feel like they would have lo uh, lost uh, an inner turret no matter what, mm -hmm. but... Um, I mean, they still could do Aunt another... Aunt kind of creeping around in the back here. He, he's going to oh, get spawned out, and they do see him. I'm gonna take the blast gun, but he does get rooted, and Jin's gonna open up on him. He does get slowed. They know where he is. And I would imagine. Ooh, oh, he does use opt to use the flash to secure it. Definitely worthwhile, in my opinion. And now they're gonna run it down bot. Hopefully, get another inhibitor. Orange here. It's a five man uh, push there. No, they do yeah. have the the five man squad down here. Oh That's man, it. that Jin is starting to hurt so much now. He just crit the yeah, buff for seventeen hundred. Jin is a big boy. <laughs> Yeah, superior rotations here for Virgin Tech are giving them new damage, um, and better teleport usage too. Because uh, Cho'Gath teleported into the Baron fight, and that's how we lost his TP in the first place. Um, so they ended up not being able to cover both, or either one of the uh, inner turrets, losing both for pretty much nothing. Vagar hurts, he just hit the... Uh, he does hurt quite a bit. Oh, it's just right uh -oh. stunned up. Oh, big stun's coming in. Swag does take a, quite a bit of damage, and he doesn't really have a whole lot of ways I to think, heal up. I think down to flash, flash in, and uh, I mean, he's down to flash, he, but he didn't flash in to so just keep Rise and kill him. Both tanks uh, have Warmongs, so they don't mind losing too much health. Uh, Rise yeah. could switch to a teleport here if he wants to. Um, looks like he's going mm, to Elder, save yeah. that, though. Yeah, Elder Drake remains on the table now, and I think we're just going back to he does actually end up swapping out that for teleport. So he's got yeah. the teleport. He's going to teleport in onto the Jin. Open up. Crazy choke. And Data Flash is going to sit on the front line. And uh, Fender Brick actually gets choked up quite a bit. But uh, in the end, Drexel is uh, going to kind of dance away. Or mods, boys. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> See? Back up full HP. And unfortunately, Down to Flash does not have one of those shiny War mods, So he will actually have to back. Teleport should be up in five seconds for him, though, but looks like the Elder will go to BT for pretty much no cost at all. And they do have a uh, solid 7.3k uh, gold lead. Yep. Rise Ultimate comes down. It's just Rise and Oin, though, into four. It is enough to spook everybody away, though. Ben Brick is actually getting Chain CC here, and he's going to get nuked down. I'm always going to secure that one, but a lot of that damage. Coming from Mage. Yeah, what a little bit of aggressive play for two players to be making. I want to uh, lower the uh, aggressiveness a tiny bit. You don't want to be wasting time on your Elder Dragon buff with a 4v5. But hopefully that's what they're going to be forced to do here. Banner Command finish up for Orin. I'm going to be looking to see where he uses that. Oh, he does have the Banner Command. I did not notice that, but yeah, he... And those, uh... Baron, Baron's up in 120, and those mm -hmm. those those Baron Banner minions... Spooky stuff. The countdown on the, the turret shots is always... Yeah, this is going to be the awkward time for Virginia Tech, because they're technically ahead, but they don't have mm -hmm. the inventory space for the control wards like they used to have. Uh, even yeah. their support opting to go for six items instead of keeping a slot open for control wards. Yeah, I think uh, I don't. I think that's actually a suboptimal decision. Um, and and yeah, support. it's always a rough call. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, with with Baron coming up, that 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 uh, that chalice isn't going to do a whole lot for you. I'd rather have three pink wards in my slot than the chalice, to be mm -hmm. honest, because it's not going to make your shields that any stronger, really. And yeah, it just gives you MR and mana regen. And if, if Drexel can get up here and say, actually, uh, Event Horizon does dunked out. Magi's gonna flash forward and he's gonna nuke him down, so Bishon is down, the jungler T is dead. Baron is up in 24 seconds. There's a banner minion down here with Orn. Somebody's gonna actually have to go match him if they don't make a play happen here soon. Huangfu's gonna actually flash forward. Revelator backs up. Yeah, Did not flash, seconds excuse the me. Yeah. 10 seconds on the Baron spawns. So that's probably where Drex is going to be looking. Mm -hmm. Looks like Chogaz mm -hmm. also going back to answer the Orn. Yeah, with isolated Kha'Zix damage and Kai'Sa with this many items, I feel like they pretty quickly. Yeah, I think this Baron's going to melt. So this is actually, I, I would expect VT to just kind of run it up mid and, and give the Baron 
they should just uh looks like they're gonna actually not really make anything happen yeah. orange is gonna have to back up so the baron goes to drexel for not a huge cost and uh once again we're kind of gonna be at a stalemate looks like this could be one of those games where we wait for the big elders going long Let's see if Drexel can use that. They haven't managed to knock down even the outer turret on bot lane yet, so that should be probably their first free turret. Yeah, it's getting pinged. Mm -hmm. We'll say they're going bot lane based on the pings, at least. Yeah. They don't have the wave set up top right now. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, waves yeah, are... They don't really have anything else to do really set up for anybody, just kind of right in the middle of everything. And uh, <clears throat> they're kind of just dancing around the river. They will, they will yeah. look like they're coming down here. Establish some vision. Yeah, and this is at the point, like we were saying, there's not really a lot of boards that can be placed. Actually, Drexel does have a few. Plongfu just wants to kill people. Plongfu is always up. It's just making me nervous. Oh, somebody find this uh, guy. Bishan is just kind of right oh, there. If somebody knows. checks this bush. Oh. oh, he actually cancels his back. Oh, so he's completely oh, behind. Huge I watch, just gets obliterated. And now down to Flash is actually going to get chunked down very hard. He does have the black shield, so he's going to be spell immune, but I think the Jin could finish him off. Oh. Oh, he does actually finish him off, excuse me, but big AoE was coming down from Mage, giving uh, VT a little bit of a heart attack, the swag just barely creeping out of that. But uh, actually being caught out in that bush ended up working yeah. out for Bishan, so yep. need, to, need, to, need to check those bushes, ladies and gentlemen. Drexel had some vision, but not enough vision. Um, oh, it, wow. oh, he just gets nihilism. Slow down their push. Uh, too bad he's not going to be able to push that lane in at all. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. No AD carry here. <laughs> Slowly beat that minion. Actually, actually just can't kill it. Just ba That's... Baron buff up the minions and wait for them to kill it. <laughs> That's insane. He he actually just can't kill it. Yeah. It's... Actually, B-Shot is here to delay the backs. And Maga and Chow are going to have to just kind of walk away. Uh, the swag does oh. not have... So he can't really cut them off. Oh, that's Orn ultimate. No, oh, Orn ult does come out. They're going to have the black shield, but actually Chow gets hit up. Event Horizon's delaying everybody. Brick flashes forward. He's gonna. He still has the black shield. <laughs> he has the black shield on him though, so no knock up. But the swag is here now, swag and now there's just kill. too much CC. Black shield doesn't last forever. Actually, Oz is here to clean up, make it a little bit even. Jinho does also open up. Super delayed fight. Rise falls. Bishan is very low. I'm Oz. Oh, flashes in happen. the forest. Oh no, flashes force. Missing ping that boy. Jesus. At this point, everybody's just. Uh, doesn't know how much damage oh, okay, the top lane. Does. Yeah, the top lane of Huang Fu with a bunch of mi minions actually gonna get himself an inhibitor for his trouble. <laughs> and meanwhile, still people running at each other in the bot side of the map while Huang Fu takes the objective. Yeah, we've reached the point in the game where everyone's just gonna start exploding. Jin has too much AD, uh, Vigar has too much AP. Um, and every, everyone's just gonna start exploding. Ooh, I'm honestly gonna see it a little bit. Revelator's walking up, just gonna... Oh man, that gin damage onto a just a big boy Cho'Gath makes him look like a Nami. Yeah. Oh, 3,000 crit came out on that minion. Good Jesus. lord. That man can do some damage. I just had 900 AD sitting on him. Lucky Who can do it oh, faster? Okay, we're at 1,000. We're at 1,200. 1,200 AD gin. 1,200. Big yeah. numbers. He does some damage. It's yeah, it's nine hundred. Who can nuke people <laughs> faster, Magi or Revelator? It's it's nine hundred with no stacks, twelve hundred with stacks. Oh, okay. Wong Fu is caught uh, out. Wong Fu is caught out again. Is uh. GA gets popped. GA gets popped. Warlord's coming in. The Event Horizon's gonna try and save him, but he does get rooted by the oh deadly floor. But he's out. Jin's gonna open up. Gonna hopefully look to spear this, but Black Shield prevents any sort of slow. He did take a bullet there though. Yeah. yeah. Almost, almost gets it. Ooh, that's wow. pretty low. Okay. Wait, he took a Vigar combo, I guess. Redemption comes out. Gonna extend this. That's so much healing. Yeah, that, is, <laughs> that was actually a ton of healing. Yeah. We can't sweep all this high auto damage. He keeps. If he can get onto somebody, he actually does a lot of damage. The problem is, is getting onto somebody. You don't have a ton without, of range. Without getting exploded. As yeah, yeah, and against somebody like uh, against all the CC that BT has. Kind of rough for Oz to get in there. Yeah, I mean, like we've been talking about Vagar and Jin here, but like Rise as well is also doing a ton no, of damage with his Qs at this point. Um, yeah. Even you know Orin and Swizzwani can do a bit themselves. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, the Karma build here, and it's actually really strong. Uh, Ardent Sensor and 
Mikhail's combined gives you 30% uh, more healing and shielding power. Um, combine that with a locket and a redemption for maximum Ooh. protection ability. Oh, but yeah. he's walking up. The yeah, vision that... isn't crazy here for uh, VT. They don't really have any information at all over here, so they're going in blind. This is going to be Elder. Running away from those Event Horizons. Yeah, at this point in the game, anybody gets hit by Event Horizon, they're just dead. Yeah, Elder Dragon's going down so fast. We'll see if Bishan can do anything about this. He's, down before he's gonna he look for down. it! And actually, Drexel does get the Elder, and I'm on. Doesn't yeah. get scared Drexel there. Drexel is looking for something there, but VT's does a lot of damage. Arn is teleporting in, he's here. Bishan getting quite chunked out. Jin opens up. Down to flash could be a little bit caught out, but the Jin bullets do off the fly the other direction, so everybody's gonna back up. I would like to see Drexel just kind of abandon ship here. They did get the Elder. Take your winnings and run. Yeah. Weird thing with Elder is that it's actually a. Uh, well, this is the first Elder for Drexel this mm -hmm. game. Yeah, it's also a different. one dragon Elder. So it's not gonna be yeah. super strong. Um. It gives them a confidence boost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now they wanna. Now they're like, oh, yeah, we can win the game. We have the Elder Dragon. Positive. Oh yeah. Dude. No, this that would have been a much more impactful Elder on Virginia Tech though. Ever since those yeah. Elder Dragon changes, uh, yeah. it's not too often you get to see the second Elder Dragon in a game. Go to the same team. So. Yeah, the real importance for Drexel is just denying, the deny for uh, away from BT. Yeah. Who has Gathering Storm in this game? That's what I want. I don't know. There's no way to check Master. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wish. I'd like to see. Could be I would guys in Vagar. I, imagine I imagine Vagar. Has Kaisa it. does. Oh, I, would, yeah. I, I would imagine Kaisa does. You, you pretty much oh, don't take anything up. I would think Jin as well. Yeah. All the hyper, <laughs> hyper late game carries. Boys. Infinite AD Gathering Storm. Yeah. I reached Baron the point where is, everybody is... is awake. Yeah. And now we kind of see a flip of what was happening earlier where he doesn't really have a vision. It's going to already be, be down to 138 HP. They actually just take it for free. Jin's gonna open up, and now it's can they get away with their earnings once again? Chow is a little bit caught up. It's chunked out really huge, but actually the swag falls super early. But I'm Oz is back there just healing up, trying to save himself with his death dance, but can't make it. Revelator does get away, Ooh. and actually Bishan fell there as well. I didn't notice that. So Mantra two for Q. one, and the Baron going to Drexel. Yeah, Mantra Q saves uh, active nihilism there. He always slows down the. Uh chase that was going in. Yeah. Big thing there, I think, was just watching out for the carries of Virginia Tech. Both of them got... or er, Swag died. The Auto was so low. Uh, just barely got out with just the pure movement speed that his items give him. And his passive. So. It's just a five. Big thing to note in the late game is that Virginia Tech has Orn items, and Drexel does oh, not. Very, very true. We haven't even mentioned that, but that is a... That True, those Orn items will start to come in. We do see, uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, Orn himself has one. Out of the Iron Solari, Infernal Mask. Um, big cap, big I want, hat. I want to see the Death Molten crown. Edge. Death Crown. Big Abaddon's hat, Logan. Death Crown. Oh yeah, wait, does Jin have enough? Jin has gold to buy that, he just hasn't. Yeah. Yet. Somebody put, this man Somebody will have 3 million AD. Okay, just buy the item. He's at no dude. stack, yeah, okay, look. Get that molten edge. Yeah. Oh, he's backing. He wants it. He's, 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 he's also been alerted. Everybody knows. Molten edge? It. Let's watch it. Yeah, 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 molten edge gets finished up. Oh, there we got is. it. Okay. The death bush is set up, though. Drexel's hoping somebody walks in. Director Camera really wants us to know about the death bush, too. This is all Director Camera's focused on right now. Hello, death bush. <laughs> I don't think he's going to bite. Word there in the mid lane. Yeah, you start to see nothing on the map, and you, uh, Baron and uh, Elder are both down, and I kind of start to wonder. Yep. He wisely not going to walk out, and Drexel does get bored, just kind of waiting on the minion wave, and now they'll be up, and then Horizon going to zone off from the tower. Interesting to see if uh, Australia is down. a choice here for guys. That's the only thing I can think would change in the rest mm -hmm. of Virginia Tech's yeah. builds. I feel like at this point the movement speed isn't as useful to catch somebody out, and I think more damage would probably be. Yeah, it's to basically go. it's a very cost efficient item. It only costs two thousand gold to get early on, um, but it's not slot efficient. It has mm -hmm. very low stats compared to most other items. Forty body power, two hundred health. Um, so something like a Banshee's Veil could be a lot more useful for him right now. I said uh, the dark finding is on the grid. 
Down to Flash is actually, he, he, he keeps forgetting that Jin actually doesn't. Down to Flash actually does continue to live. Oh Bishan gonna get chunked out. Actually, he, the first one to fall is Bishan. Uh, GA popped onto Huang Fu once again. What is the cooldown on GA? Ooh, Rev just oh got my goodness. Instantly. Rev a little. Oh, oh my god. Actually, the swag gets knocked out, and it's looking like Drexel could pick this one up. All they really need is to just kind of push in. There's no GA on Revelator, so any CC lands on him, and he will get bursted out. There's no sums on him as well. And they're knock, knock, knocking. Knocking on the door of VT. They do have the bot wave, so looks like they could actually even opt to just get the triple inhibitor and then back up. Oh, my god, just took so oh, much damage. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 1200 crit from the gym. Hey, these six stacks. It's something I don't Five. Looks like they're not going to get the third inhib. They're going to opt to back up. They'll take their two and back up. Clear that top wave. Man's at six stacks with 1700 AD. Woo! Yikes. Whoa! Yikes, boys. Big number. Big number indeed. I think that's uh, the highest much... AD I could think of. The only thing higher would be like a Zed who ults him, but I, I don't even think that would get as high. Yeah, that's pretty insane. That's that's the highest I've definitely ever seen in a not meme game. Bygar's uh, coming in hot on that though. He's with his oh, 1600 AP. He does so. 1600 AP. Who has Jeez. bigger numbers? Who has bigger numbers? Uh, if this goes for another 20 minutes, it'll be Bygar. So yeah. yeah. One thing we could see here as time goes on is Vigar may slowly switch his build out for a tankier build. Yeah, um, and just, uh, he doesn't, rely on his he doesn't stacks, need right? more AP, really. <laughs> he needs to stay right. alive right now. Um, he does buy the Twin Shadows. Actually, he, he sold it immediately. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically, the only items required on Vega are going to be Rabadons and uh, Void Stuff. And the rest of it mm -hmm. is kind of optional. I imagine he's going to keep the Seraphs, probably. Yeah. The and shield. Banshees is already a good choice. But like we could yeah. see the Muronomicon switch out to um, maybe an Abyssal Mask. Boots pass 50 minutes of low. Yeah. Don't use hourglass. <laughs> Where's my Zephyr? Yeah. More Zephyr feel good, man. Where's my Zephyr? I, I love, I love when when uh, Kaisa gets to late game. It's actually so fun, but if you can't hit anybody, it's kind of kind of feels bad. Dude, nothing is. I've actually haven't seen a more impressive play this year than when Bang went off on Kaisa that one game. Mm. Uh, yeah. Bang pop popping off. into. Just jumping it? into three people and then oh, killing yeah. them all and surviving with death stands. Oh yeah. Bye, so, uh, boys. See if this uh if I'm Oz can emulate Bang or if he's gonna uh <laughs> die like Faker thought Bang would. The Arnold's coming in. That's gonna end up hitting just Chow actually. Jin does open up but not really finding anything. Chow gets a little bit chunked out, but deal. <clears throat> Tank's just gonna oh, casually caught. eat everything. Oh! Oh, Karma is caught. Actually, just get nuked. So now it's a four v five, and uh, not a whole lot burned on the side of Drek. Just that ult from Vigar, but it's not on a huge cooldown. The inhibitor does fall. Mage is a little bit low. The swag actually gets chunked out. Bishan goes forward. Oz is actually caught out. It does fall down. Chogath eats the swag in the back line. Revelator's just kind of in the back, wailing for free. He's left alone. Just kidding. He actually got one shot. Kind of and. Break. Drexel. Can Drexel's Bishan make the miracle happen? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Not with Mage hitting everything for like a million damage with his autos. Yeah. Drexel. Oh, the end of he shot him down. Sweeping. Oh, wait. He died. <laughs> He's strong. And Drexel is just going to sweep that one up. No big deal. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. It was actually the same game. Wow. Yeah, that was a, that was a long one. Minute. Barn burning right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa.